Bob of the morning. It's uh, January in 2019 and it is chilly. Uh, I'm just rolling into work. Uh, it's about minus 25. Um, and I'm just getting, hitting, getting back into the rhythm of doing some iron cars. So uh, I thought I'd take this moment to share a piece around time management. You know, 2019, January, New Year. Uh, it's now the end of January. How's it going? Uh, you know, have you set some goals? Have you, you know, thought about how to do things a little bit differently? And is it working? So if it is, great. Good on you. Rock it. It's awesome. Um, if you're not quite getting where you want to go uh, out of the gate, and maybe you're thinking, yeah, it's only January. Things are gonna get. I'll get there. That's cool. Give yourself some time. The uh, world doesn't change in a day. Uh, but if you're looking for some tools, you're like, hey, maybe maybe there's something I can do differently to get myself set up for success. Uh, this is a quick little video to maybe help you. And so this is a maybe three or four year a journey for me. Um, I really just, everybody's talking about time management. You know, you gotta make better use of your time. I thought I was pretty good. I use my calendar really well. Um, my, my days don't get robbed for me. So like I'm not at my desk where people constantly come and say, hey, can I bug you, can I bug you, can I bug you? And then all of a sudden the things I wanted to get done that day don't get done. That's typically not how my days go, which is good. Uh, but I still, you know, last year uh, was a bit of a tough year. We got some pressure put on us to like perform in a big, big way. Um, and so I, I had to really think about how am I going to do things differently to be able to get more with less? How am I going to get more results with less time? You know, uh, I got three kids at home and a wonderful, wonderful woman. And business is going crazy. I've got all, a lot more team. And I serve on two boards. Maybe I should just cut out the boards, but uh, in all reality, how can I do more with less? How can I get more results with less time? And then I was thinking about this time management thing, and time management to me just doesn't work. It's all about priority management. Priority management dictates where our time is spent. And the idea is quite simple, and there's a really cool video by Covey. Uh, you might have seen it. He's on stage with the CEO, and she's uh, tasked putting these rocks in a, in a bucket, or in a vase style bucket. And she starts off by putting in the little sand, and then she puts in the medium sized rocks and the big rocks, and then there's no room, it doesn't fit. And then she puts in the big rocks and the middle rocks and the sand, and then it all fits. And the whole idea is, what's the biggest priority in our lives? You know, family, what's the biggest priority at work in terms of you know, the, the activities that we need to be doing on a regular basis, the things that we need to accomplish? Uh, what's the biggest uh, priorities in terms of our, you know, personal well-being, uh, eating right, sleeping, exercise, and physical fitness? And so the whole idea is to frame around what are your top three priorities. Okay, if you have four, no one's gonna kill you. If you have two, even better. Um, you know, this year for me, family number one, number two, uh, going after and empower, going after great automate marketing automation to generate awesome leads for our sales team so I can help empower them to just go crush their targets. Coaching the team, physical fitness. And so what I've done, working with my right hand, uh, Trisha Kopeck, she's just amazing, helped me fill my calendar according to my priorities. So in any given week, I can see, am I working against the things that I think are the most highest leveraged activities? Uh, am I spending time with my family? Am I working out? Am I developing the content and systems required to work and build a wicked marketing automation system? And am I coaching the team? And then I color code the priorities. So my, my biggest priorities are typically blue, yellow, and green, and orange. And so I look at my calendar every week and I look at it, I'm like, okay, cool, it's fill of blue, yellow, green, and orange. I'm rocking. I look at the next week, it's got nothing. I'm like, oh, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So this idea of time management just got thrown at the window. Priority management, fill my calendar. And then one of the, the tricks here that I learned last year that was really super helpful, I want to share with you right now, is to pre-populate your calendar with those priority chunks for the future, even if you don't know what you're going to do. That way, when someone says, hey, can you do this? You can look at your calendar and say, hey, that's one of my priorities. I can fit it in the spot I've already set up for myself or no, I can't do that because my calendar's already full. Even though this is empty over here, that's a priority bucket. I can't fill it with something that isn't a priority. Now that's where the discipline comes in. 
and that's where a simple idea gets kind of hard to do. But I know you can do it. I know that rationally speaking, everybody understands this idea, and over time, you'll build a discipline to stay focused on the priorities. It is the number one thing managers are interviewed on that say, uh, what, do you know what your priorities are? They say yes, and how much time in the last two weeks have you spent against your priorities? And the typical answer is less than 10% of the time. So let's just go be extraordinary and start focusing our priorities, putting time against them, and we'll crush it. We'll crush 2019, you'll crush everything. Walk out.